Hey there YouTube, this is the Learner Boots coming at you once again with another book review. And this book is by Evangeline Duran Fuentes called Feel the Sound. Um, let me get right into the synopsis for you. Uh, get a good picture here for you. Bobby valued having a best friend above everything else. A friendship with a new boy would challenge him in ways he would never faced before. Learning a new language would prove to be a difficult task, especially while coping with the pushy neighborhood girl. Will Bobby have the patience to overcome all these challenges in order to have the best friend he dreamed of? And this is from the author of Cry on Hallow's Eve and A Tumbleweed Christmas and Friends South of the Border, which are all really good books. If you haven't seen the reviews on those that I posted, go ahead and check those out below or on the side after you're done. Um, let's see. So, feel the sound. Um, let's see. I don't know whether to start with, uh, the basic stuff or the, uh, reading experience. You know what? Let's start with the basic stuff first. Um, so, overall, it's, um, 83 pages, I think. Yeah, it's 83 pages. No, 81 pages, sorry. The story itself is 81 pages. Um... Here is the size of the font, and, you know, that is what the text is like. The cool thing, um, I learned a lot from this book. Um, one of the main characters um, is deaf, and he speaks with sign language. Um, let's see if, I'm, if I could get this across without giving away too much. Um, yeah, so throughout the book, you see hand signs for sign language that you could learn and, uh, you know, if you have a friend or loved one that is deaf or mute and they sign because they can't speak or vice versa or both, um, <clears throat> you could learn this and, you know, simple things so you could get started um, getting to uh, be able to speak with them. Here's a chart in the back with the uh, signing alphabet. And, oh, it also has numbers as well. So you have the alphabet and the numbers, one through zero. And zero starts off there. So that is very helpful and um, educational. Um, this book has taught me a lot about, um, you know, folk with, that are hearing impaired. Um, and, you know, how to communicate with uh, folk with that, um, you know, with that trait. Um... Now, uh, let's see. The book itself was really heartfelt. It was really cool. The main character, um, he's going through a lot right now. He's a very young kid, you know. So, um, you know, and what with the things that he's going through. I mean, if he was older, like an adult or a teenager, I mean, it might be like, uh, you gotta learn to deal with this better. But, you know, he's a kid and for his age and what he's going through. He really goes through, um, you know, he really tries a lot. And you feel very sympathetic towards this character and the other characters as well in this book. Um, you like all the characters, at least I hope you do. Um, <clears throat> you know, um, everybody's got their likes and dislikes, but you, uh, you end up really liking all the characters and the story itself. Um, it's adventurous. It's, uh, you know, it's good for... Um, you know, young boys and young girls uh, to read. It's very educational about, um, you know, working with people who have that uh, disability and um, it's, um, you know, the signs that they show you. Uh, what else? Um, it's heartwarming, you know, you see friendships and stuff like that. It reminds you of friendships that you may have with um, a childhood best friend of yours and stuff like that. Um, so it's really cool. Um, Okay, um, one part of it, uh, turned out to be a little too graphic for me. It wasn't bad or anything like that, but, um, the way it was written kind of freaked me out too. Like, whoa, this is heavy, but, you know, um, I know Evangeline does base some of her characters off of real people in her life and real things that have happened. So I think maybe if that's the case with this book too... Um, and if that really happened, whatever, what happens in this book, um, I understand she, how she wants to, uh, convey what happened and how to stay true to what's real and let you guys know what really happened and 
you know, feel the reality of things that can happen on an ordinary day, which, um, you know, overall is really cool. Let's see. Age range, I say, you know, um, it might have some concepts that are difficult for some younger, younger children to grasp. However, um, kids are a lot more, you know, uh, discerning today. They, they read other things. They watch other things. So, you know what? Um, I guess maybe older elementary school or early middle school is a good place to start with this book. Um, it starts off... Um, no, very um, smoothly, and it continues like that throughout the thing. Uh, gets you on the edge of your seat um, at the end, which is pretty cool. And you have great character development from the beginning to the middle and then to the end as well, where uh, things get resolved, people learn lessons, others grow up. Um, it has all of that in there, which is really cool. Um, so, yeah... It's educational. It teaches about kids with, um, you know, I'm going to say in general, kids with disabilities, because although there's a boy in this, he's hearing impaired, you can still learn how to talk to um, other people with, um, you know, disabilities and stuff and work with them because um, it could, you know, you could take what you learn from working with somebody who has that um, disability of being deaf, deaf in this book and apply it to somebody who has a different one later on in life and um, when it comes to showing that compassion and understanding and patience. Because um, when I was little, um, nobody really explained to me, you know, um, people with, you know, speech disabilities, hear learning disabilities, hearing disabilities... Um, all I knew when I was a kid was they learned in a separate part of the school for some weird reason. I don't know why they didn't tell me. And I learned in another part of the school. Um, which kind of weirded me out because nobody explained to me why they were over there. And, um, nobody told me that, <laughs> nobody ever told me that these disabilities weren't contagious. <laughs> and, um, I didn't know that as a child. So, um, I kind of learned later on, on my own, but, um, I made some friends in middle school that had hearing disabilities and they had hearing aids on, and I was scared that if I touched one of those hearing aids, I would get some kind of disease or something, but you can't hold that against me. I was a little kid and nobody ever explained it to me. Um, I wish somebody did, but then later on, you know, my mom started asking, why do you look so nervous and worried all the time? And I explained to her, and then she had a long talk with me explaining that. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, it took me a little bit to get the shakes off. But anyways, so some kids that might be dealing or struggling with that who have not been educated on that, like I was when I was little, um, they could read this book and see that, you know, these kids are just like you, you know, they have a little trouble with certain things here and there, but that's about it. Um, you know, so that could really help ease kids who are nervous about kids with uh, certain disabilities into, you know, talking to them and getting to know them better and stuff like that. Um, you know, so that could really help with that as well, this book. Um, what else? Uh, it, you know, safety. Uh, when it comes to uh, structures, all kinds of stuff, you'll understand what I mean by structural safety and stuff like that when you read this book. Um, let's see. Other than that, I can't really say anything else about it other than how much I like it. Um, it has everything you want in a good story. It's got great lessons, character development, people growing up and learning, learning and growing. Uh, all of that, all thrown into this book, along with a uh, heartfelt story and good writing. Um, so, excuse me. So, um, yeah, top it all off, I like this story. It was a fun read. Um, kind of like had me laughing in the first, uh, from the beginning, in the beginning, kind of had me ouch feels. The second half, laughing along with the characters that I've gotten to know at the end on the edge of my seat 
at the last part of the conclusion had me saying, wow, this is, oh, that's nice. You know, so roller coaster of emotions. I loved it. Um, so, yeah. So, um, elementary school to middle school. Um, and I'm sure some high school kids would love this book as well. I'm an adult. And uh, I graduated from high school, you know, six years ago. Um, and I enjoyed it myself because I learned some things in here that I didn't know. And I felt that it was, um, you know, easily explained. I felt that it was, um, you know, that I was being taught this by the character in the book. So um, it worked out very well. So for um, education on, um, you know, kids with disabilities, learning and growing through certain struggles that kids face um, emotionally, besides that with other things that happen, um, life, death, moving, all that stuff, this would be a great learning tool. And also it's a, you know, if you don't want a learning tool, um, it's a great heartfelt story. And uh, it's something that you should definitely check out. So this is Feel the Noise by Evangeline Duran Fuentes um, and a cool thing about all of her titles is that um, they um, they are very appropriate to the story Whew. whoa excuse me excuse me wait for me so pick up a copy today uh, check out amazon.com I do not have one of her cards here with me oh actually <laughs> I do Dun, 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 dun. So hopefully the camera picks up on this this time because I checked another video and it didn't, which I didn't like, which upset me. So, but um, so I hope the camera gets it this time so you guys could see it. And um, yeah, she has uh, other works available. I hear uh, that she's writing another book that's going to be really, really powerful as well. So um, keep watching for more news about other authors and books and you know um some more work from uh evangeline thank you very much for watching um i hope you guys have a great day i'll see you guys next time cat medicine <laughs> and um yeah like subscribe check out the other videos thanks a bunch and i'll see you guys next time beep oh yeah and sorry for rambling <laughs>